Hi, I'm Maurizio Vento and I will show you how to tune correctly at Mugeter Wave Termin with few steps. To access the board with the regulation coils, you have to remove the cover which has four screws, two in the front, here, and two in the back, here and here. Unplug also the power adapter connector from the back to remove the top of its cabinet in order to do the tuning and access the regulation coils. Turn all the knobs at 12 o'clock. I suggest to mount the theremin on a microphone stand to reduce parasitic interferences. A ground path is needed for stable operation. For this reason, connect the audio cable with an amplifier that also has a direct connection to ground. Turn on the unit and warm up it at least 15-20 minutes before doing regulations. Use the included plastic allen tool to turn the lugs in inductor on the circuit board. You don't want to use a metal allen wrench because it will change the coil's inductance. To set the volume, insert the plastic tool here into the coil called L11. Then connect a voltmeter from pin 12 of U3 to ground the green cable attached to the screw here. Turn the slug in L11 a bit counterclockwise, then slowly turn it clockwise. The voltage begin to rise from minus 12 volts to zero. Stop there. As first step, I suggest to use an hardware spectrum analyzer. If you don't own one, download the free spectrum analyze app, which gives you real-time spectrum data from the microphone on your Android device. Install and open it. Before starting, it's worth to say that if you own an older Etherwave Theremin, this means made before 2004, I suggest you to tune it for about 3000 Hz when holding the pitch antenna, as suggested in Moog manual, which wasn't updated for never theremins. You recognize older ether wave because they have made in Japan coils whose cores can be turned with a normal plastic screwdriver and which react in the classical way. Turning clockwise increase the inductance. For newer ether wave theremins after 2004, instead you should reach a tune of 3800 Hz when holding the pitch antenna. Newer ether waves have made in China coils whose cores require the plastic hexagonal tool and whose reaction is reversed. Turning clockwise decreases the inductance and thus rises the frequency. The ideal zero bit or silent location where the pitch knob is in its center position and when cover is installed is at about 60 cm from the pitch antenna. Consider that the cover, which has nine hidden metal screws, influences the pitch field. A zero bit distance of 10 cm is correct for an interwave without cover. For this reason, many people drill holes in the top cover of the cabinet. But this is not necessary if you set the zero bit location at 10 centimeters without the cover. 
instead of 60 cm with the cover installed. Now follow these steps to adjust L5 and L6. The one in this picture is L5 coil, located near the pitch antenna. It controls the highest pitch you hear when you grasp the pitch antenna with your hand. L6 coil in this picture controls the range or how far from the antenna the zero bit point is located. The zero bit point moves the farther away from the pitch antenna the more you turn the pitch knob counterclockwise. At least, as I already told you, in the never production ether waves. Using a clip, connect the two leads of C28 capacitor together. The C28, as you see here, is a very small capacitor, about 10 cm to the left of the pitch antenna connection on the ether wave circuit board. It's here. In this way, you get the highest volume level. The next step is to grasp the pitch antenna and adjust L5, so that the frequency you hear is about 3800 Hz. With the top removed, adjust L6 until 0 bit falls where your hand is only 10 cm from the antenna. The right 0 bit location is just about at the front right edge of the wooden cabinet, which is 10 cm away from the pitch antenna. L5 and L6 interact, so there will be a decent amount of back and forth between the two adjustments. Grasp and hold the pitch antenna with one hand. With the other hand, adjust L5 until you hear a pitch of about 3800 Hz. Use the spectrum analyzer to set the correct frequency. Let go of the pitch antenna. Slowly retract your hand from the vicinity of the antenna. You will hear the pitch go down and then begins to ascend as you retract your hand a bit more. Adjust L6 for 0 bit so that you get the 0 bit at about 10 cm from the pitch antenna. After adjusting the L6 coil, if you grasp the pitch antenna again, you will notice that the frequency changed and this no more 3800 Hz as before. Adjust again L5 and L6 and repeat the steps until you get the correct highest frequency when you grasp the pitch antenna and you have the correct 0 bit location. Notice which direction is went and overshoot in the appropriate direction to cut down on the number of times you have to go back and forth between the two adjustments. This completes the tuning of the pitch oscillators. Fine tuning of the antenna circuit is possible by bending the wire more or less far away from the aluminum foil which changes the static capacitance. Thanks for watching.